3D printing for astrophotography. You know, lately, I, um, I just realized how much stuff you could actually print using a 3D printer. I received this uh, printer about a month ago, and I've been playing around, and um, so far I've just printed uh, Bachtin of masks. But um, the potential is a lot more than that. So I just wanted to spend a moment and show you. So the printer I got is the Creality Ender 3 version 2. And as you can see right now, it's printing a Bakhtinov mask for my Celestron 6 inch Newtonium. It's got a nice uh, LCD screen that shows you the progress of your print. Um, there's a lot of settings you can uh, play around with. It's printing with a material called PLA, and you can print with other types of material that are more uh, stronger or more um, durable for the outside. It doesn't print fast. This job is taking me 10 hours or so to do, but the results are amazing. When you speed it up, you can actually see how the movement of the printer is as it's constantly going around and uh, extruding a new filament. Cost-wise, the printer starts from $300, goes up to $400 for the different versions there are. The filament costs about $30 per spool. To find prints, you go on sites like Thingiverse and you download models that were designed by people. You can print them at home and use them for free. After the print is done, you remove your print from the bed and you're ready to go. So here's my collection so far. I got um, four printed. And uh, the first one is a Celestron C6N mask for my Newtonian. And as you can see, it fits inside the tube. It's got the notches just like the, re the real cap does. This one is for my ED80 Orion. And the pattern is a little uh, smaller because the tube on a telescope is oversized. It's at 100 millimeters. This is for my guide scope ST80 Orion. And it's also nice because it goes inside the dew shield. And finally, this is for my Rokinen 135 millimeter lens. It's a very fine pattern, which gives you really long X's on the screen when you focus. And it's great. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, later I'll show you what other wonderful things you can print.